OJ. You are watching Rock Titan TV. I am here with OJ from Byzantine. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. You know, it's it's funny. I, I when I was planning tonight, it was like, ooh, I want to catch up with Chris from Byzantine, and we're gonna be magically whisked away to Delaware. <laughs> Delaware? Not the, not the place you yeah. thought we would uh, yeah, meet yeah, up. Yeah. Well, of course, here we are, bar 13. You yeah. know, this yeah. is your first time playing here, is that right? Second. Second time. All yeah. right. All Last right. time, I think it was called Mojo 13. Okay, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we came through with um, Wednesday 13. <laughs> right on. <laughs> yeah. Right on. And that so, was like two, three years ago. So it's, okay. it's been a minute. All right. Now, we are still playing in support of the Cicada Tree, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that album came out about, oh... Eight, nine months ago, maybe ten. Um, our touring cycle has to be exp extended longer than normal bands because we're so domesticated. You know, uh, we don't get a lot of a touring opportunities. So, uh, Metal Blade Records has allowed us to kind of maybe extend it for a good two years. Okay. So, I mean, we're still we're still kind of new on it, getting it out. Right. And I wanted to touch <clears throat> with you, you know, on that because I know that you know. This is the first album that you've released with Metal Blade Records. Yeah. And when Byzantine, you know, first was born, you guys were with Prosthetic Records. Mm -hmm. And then after a few albums, you guys went independent. Did their own thing. And now all of a sudden you're back with Metal Blade. Now we're how's back. That, yeah, how's that experience been? Um, obviously it's been uh, like that. Yeah, right. You know, it's right. uh, now we feel like we've kind of got a seat back at the big kids' table again. And a lot of people were like, oh, you're shit, you're back. Now everything's going to fall into place. Not so, you know, because now we're fighting for spots on bigger tours. And, um, you know, it's all about numbers. Um, a, a lot of people still don't know who we are because we've still not been able to, to play in front of those Mastodon crowds or the... Gojira crowds, and okay. I think we're at that point where we need to be doing. Well, and you're going to be doing that very soon, from what I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be doing a couple of small special guest shows, which I think are going to help catapult us in certain markets. Um, but those are the type of shows we really need to be playing um, to back this Metal Blade debut. Right. Uh, but, you know, it's it's a process. It takes time. Obviously, I've been doing it 17 years now. Man, does it um, feel like 17 years? Man, sometimes it feels like 40. <laughs> <laughs> and then other times it's like, dude, that, how how did we get here that fast? Right on, you know? man. The, um, the two albums we put out on our own, we did that out of necessity. Okay. Because we knew nobody was interested in putting out any Byzantine material at that time. We, uh, I had got word about the Kickstarter and Pledge Music. It was right. kind of new. So that helped us keep moving on and got us to the point where Metal Blade was interested in us because our fifth album, Two Releases to Resolve, was able to get number one on Sirius Satellite. Uh, uh, I think we were the first, first unsigned, no, second unsigned band to really kind of get that high behind yeah, and Clutch. And I was just going to say, you know, to at least resolve, that actually did pretty well considering it, it was your really own well. independent release. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it did really well. It took yeah. a lot of money. Okay. Yeah, right. I had personal money, like credit cards, phoning up mom, yeah. hey, can you give me a loan? Yeah. We put, you know, and I'm very transparent about this stuff, we put about 30000 of our own money wow. behind to release because I wanted to see... If we threw it against the wall, I wanted it to stick, and sometimes it takes money, and we were able to buy a really good marketing team to push behind it, right on. and that got us right up there with all the nuclear blasts and central media bands. Okay. So then Metal Blade was like, "Holy shit! There's this low, or there's this unsigned band who's taken out." some of the bigger boys on Sirius. But Byzantine already <clears throat> had a pretty solid reputation, you know, in that world. Yeah, and I mean, again, yeah. everybody, we are here with OJ from Byzantine at Bar 13 in Delaware. Yeah. yeah. Magical Delaware. Magical Delaware. So, but yeah, I mean, you guys had a pretty good following, I mean, coming out of the gates. Yeah, it wasn't like we were uh, like a brand new baby band nobody knew about. Right. Like, we had tenure, but it was never, uh, we, we never cracked that top echelon. Right. So... You know, for us to be able to come out with our fifth album and really push the needle on things, it made Metal Blade look at us and say, you guys still have a lot of gas left in the tank. Right I think on. we're going to offer you a deal, right and we're going to see how it works with 
global, uh, you know, their their marketing arm, and that's what we needed, and that's what we got on on the cicada tree. Yeah. Now speaking of cicada tree <clears throat> and marketing, you got a couple of killer music videos with that, you know, yeah. ways to bear witness and yeah. a vile Vi maxim. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about doing the music videos? I mean, do you actually enjoy doing it, doing them, or do you just think of them more as a marketing mechanism? No, we, I actually enjoy that creative side of yeah. it. It's fun to like break away from just sitting behind a computer or in a recording studio or going live. Right. It's fun to get behind the camera and actually be able to work things out and put a <clears throat> put a uh, method to the madness. So. Um, you know, we've done two music videos. We actually just shot our third one. Okay, cool. Uh, it's going to come out probably in about a month. It's for Are we the allowed title. to divulge, or is Metal Blade keeping that under <clears throat> No, actually, we're paying for it ourselves. Okay. We told Metal Blade, was like, we want to keep we want to keep putting our own money into this. Okay. To right. show them that we got skin in the game, too. All right, cool. <clears throat> so we're putting, uh, we're doing a video for the Cicada Tree, the title oh, track. Oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Very we cool. want to do something different. Yeah. New ways to bear witness and vile maxim are really like up tempo, and we wanted to show more the progressive side. Okay, and this song does that. Yeah, so. I was. Gonna, I really like new ways to bear witness. Like, thank you. Just, just the sound that you had in that. Yeah, very cool. It's got that uh, yeah. what I call the. Uh, it, it's got that southern swing to it. Yeah. You know, uh, Pantera uh, uh, with a little bit of testament. Got some good stuff going on in West Virginia, man. There's Shit all yeah. kinds of good stuff coming out of West Virginia. Shit yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so again, you know, here we are. You know, we're doing this quick little kind of northeastern <clears throat> tour deal. How did this all come up? What was the what was behind that? Well, the impetus of this was that we've been trying to play St. Vitus in New York City right, for about right, a year or two. Right. Okay. Um, every time I contact the booking agent there, it's like we get a second hold or a third hold on okay. the date. I sent a date to them. They said, hey, it's yours. Nice. So I wanted to book a weekend around it. So we're doing Wilmington, Delaware tonight and Baltimore, Maryland tomorrow, right which is a makeup date. Okay. We were okay. supposed to play Baltimore in uh, last fall. Okay. And we showed up and they shut the show down 10 minutes when we walked in. Really? Cause, yeah, because of a water leak. Oh, so man. It, that would have been our first time playing Baltimore in 10 years. Wow. So okay. people okay. were upset, so we rebooked it. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so after this, I know you guys kind of take a, a little break. Yeah. And then you guys are going to be going out on tour again and catching up with Lamb of God, from what I understand. Yeah, you know what? <clears throat> I, I self-manage the band. We haven't had a manager ever. Okay. So I've been feeling really uh, down on my managing skills, thinking that I'm, I'm, I'm dropping the ball. So Why I told is that? How's that? <clears throat> because we've not landed a lot of these bigger tours okay. and I'm putting the equation together. I'm like, we got a good label, we got a good booking agency, <clears throat> we got a good album, what's wrong? And I was like, Oh, it must be me. So I called Metal Blade and told them I said, I'm gonna hire a manager. Okay. They got on the phone with me, we did a conference call and they said, OJ, that's not the right thing to do. You just need to be more aggressive with your contacts. Okay. They All said, right. you know enough people in this music industry now right that on, if yeah. you send the emails, things will happen. So immediately I started firing out emails and within like four days we landed a Lamb of God and Behemoth show. Nice. And I was like, oh, maybe they were right. So uh, we're playing with Lamb of God and Behemoth in June in Raleigh. And then the same week, we're also playing with Anthrax and Testament in Knoxville, Tennessee. Oh, that's killer, dude. Both of these are Slayer off, off dates. Okay, uh, all right. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I think maybe I need to be a little more aggressive on the, the managing side, and uh, maybe we'll start landing more of these dates. So. Very cool. Yeah, Very cool. me and OJ's coming for you. I'm going to start calling all you friends. Right on. You owe me right favors. On. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so what do you think of uh, the, 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 this Northeast piece so far? How's it been? Like you said, you were at St. Vitus last night. Yeah. Here we are at Bar Thirteen. I mean, how's it feel? Like a, like seems it? like a cool. good, good, lively crowd. Yeah. Uh, last night was our first real headlining show in New York City. That's awesome. Yeah, man. and we had a good packed out crowd. Um, we're trying out new songs that we haven't played off of the new album. Okay. So right. yeah, All it's right. fun. It's just. We got to get out here and grease the wheels every time or every once in a while between these tours. Okay. Yeah. Now, is everything you're doing right now again, you know, more in support of the cicada tree? Or are, are you already working on new material? Have you no, I, I okay. normally I don't write when we're out uh, playing. Okay. Like I will, <clears throat> when it comes time to do an album, I'll 
thrust myself in it. Right on. I would write the album for about three months okay. and put it out and then shut the creative okay. you know, shop down. Right. So right now we're focusing on that. Probably <clears throat> uh, at the end of this year, we'll start working on album seven. All right. Yeah. All right. It takes a lot out of me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. No. Very cool. Well, I know you guys have been very, very uh, busy, you know, again, with your music videos. Yeah. Uh, you, you did a, a, a lot off your last album. I know yeah. you've done it already. A couple that we talked about off the Cicada Tree. Yeah. Where can everyone go to check this stuff out? What's, what's your channel? Is well, it obviously, you can go or, to uh, YouTube and we have Biz Disney. TV. Okay. Biz TV. Which is okay. simple. B-Y-Z TV. All right. Uh, well, you can also go to the Metal Blade Records website. Or, uh, yeah, Metal Blade, Metal Blade Records, Records. Okay. Uh, which is MetalBlade.com, or you can right. check us out on Facebook. All right. Yeah, And that's right. where you can keep track of us the most. Very cool. And everybody, go out and buy a cicada tree. <laughs> yeah, I think you'll like it. It's right. a top-to-bottom fun ride. All right. Very cool. Well, OJ, thank you so much for your time, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, Scott. Yeah, man. Yeah. Peace. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can also catch us at www.rocktitan.tv.